In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get better results and save time with this retoucher technique in Photoshop. My name is Akordidi and welcome to this channel. Kindly like this video if you find it helpful and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Let's get into the video. Alright, so we have our image here. First off, we're going to press Ctrl and J twice to make two duplicates of the background layer. We're going to name layer one as color and layer one copy as texture. going to put this in a group by pressing Ctrl G and I will change the name of this to frequency separation. All right, we're going to open the group like this. So let's the color layer. Make the texture la layer invisible. We're going to hide it. And then come to filter. Blur. Gaussian blur. And then set the Gaussian blur radius to 4. Yeah. Then we're going to select OK. Then we're going to select the texture layer. Make it visible. I'm going to come to image. Apply image. Change the, the layer column to color. Blending mode to subtract. The scale, you keep it at 2 and then the offset at 128. Then select OK. Now come here to the blend mode and change this to linear light. Like this. Now we have our frequency separation adjustment layers created for us. You can as well download this action i have it in my online store you can just check the link in the description and then download it to make it more easy and faster for you All right so we're going to select the car layer like this i'm going to zoom in a little bit to her face select the lasso tool we're going to select the highlights like this by circling it, right click, and then select Gaussian Blur. We'll come to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and then set the radius. So let's say 7.6 and 19 is too much. We'll set it at, I think 8.2 is okay. So select okay. Now we'll go ahead and then select or circle the areas where you want to smooth in like this circle right click and select Gaussian Blair I'm going to repeat this to all her face to make sure there is some smoothness going on right click Gaussian Blair right click Gaussian Blair Circle right click Gaussian Blur. Always make sure you, you're selecting only within the tones of the image. So we have the highlights, we have the mid tones, and we have the shadows. So always make sure you're selecting just within the range. That is, if it's if it's the highlights, you're selecting only the highlights. If it's the mid tones, you're selecting only the mid tones. Like I'm doing over here. I click Gaussian Blur. So you're going to repeat this to all the face, all the skin, all the parts that you want to smooth in like that. And I'm going to speed up the side so that our video won't be too long. All right, now let's check the before and after. So there's a before and there's a after. There's a before and there's a after. As you can see, there's some level of smoothness going on in our image. There's a before and then the after. So we're going to proceed and then go ahead to use the mixer brush tool to smoothen 
the face even more to get a more even skin tone. All right, so this is the settings I normally use for my mixer brush tool. Let me increase the width a little bit. And then this is the settings. So you make sure you copy the settings and then use it when you're doing yours. All right, so let me proceed. So you make sure when you're brushing, you brush just within the tones. Make sure if you're brushing in the mid-tones, you're just keeping it in the mid-tones. And when you're brushing in the highlights, you're brushing only the highlights and then the shadows as well. So just follow the steps as I go. All right, so now let's check the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. As you can see, there's a very big difference. All right, guys, so this is the technique I use for almost all my retouching works. I hope this video helps you. If you like it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.